And taking a look now at the latest COVID-19 case numbers being reported for Noises County today, the Public Health District reporting 30 new COVID-19 cases, bringing the county's total of positive cases ever recorded to 19,875. To date, 18,948 people have recovered from the novel coronavirus. And of those 30 reported today, only 18 are from recent testing. The rest of the 12 are from a state health department data dump. The City County Health District also unfortunately reporting the confirmation of three COVID-19 related deaths today. The patients said to be three women ranging in age from their 60s to their 90s. For more COVID-19 updates by county, you can visit KHLITV.com. And our local health director is saying that if you break down our COVID-19 case numbers, they are looking good, but there is still some, some, some concern that the Labor Day weekend could start to push our numbers higher over the coming days. Our Michael Gibson takes a look at those numbers with our health director for some insight into what we could be seeing over the next few weeks. We do expect to see a spike. Health Director Annette Rodriguez talking about the expected rise in COVID-19 positive test results as a result of the Labor Day weekend. That's because of what this graph shows. This AM Corpus Christi chart shows the confirmed COVID cases since the pandemic began. And you can see our numbers begin to increase after the Memorial Day weekend. By late June, we started seeing a surge that lasted all the way till the first week of August. And now as we move a week out from the Labor Day holiday weekend, our numbers are starting to creep back up again. Unfortunately, if you look from Sunday and to the last couple of days, our numbers have crept back up. And so we were doing so well, we were kind of steadily coming down. We're in the double digits now. Rodriguez pointed out that there was some good news in these COVID stats as they now show that per capita, we've dropped down to the bottom of the state rankings. The really good news was that the number of cases uh, per capita per 100,000 people has really dropped dramatically. And so that's wonderful news and we want to continue to see those decreases. And those state data dumps of positive COVID test results that we've seen over the past week or so are proving to be from many weeks ago. You still have those THT, those state dumps, and those really throw everybody off, not just the community. They throw us off as well because we're looking at them. And so we have to go and decipher, are they old? Are they new? You know, and so the ones that we've been seeing have been older than two weeks. Rodriguez explained that that means that they're virtually useless right now because the COVID incubation period is 14 days. And those test results are generally falling well outside of that time period. Now she added that as the state data dumps are still being put into the correct day and month, it does appear that our surge in those cases during the June to August time period is going to be much higher than what was initially reported. Michael Gibson, 3 News. And taking a look now at COVID-19 cases in Coastal Bend schools, CCISD updating their numbers online. And there are now six staff and 18 students positive cases for the district. Meanwhile, Alice ISD currently reporting 11 positive cases. Gregory Portland ISD has 11 active positive cases. And Orange Grove ISD, the district is reporting one active case. On our website, you'll find a link that reads schools in the Coastal Bend with positive COVID cases. Alyssa, our team is updating as updates come into us or as school districts make these updates on their websites or social media platforms.